there's the age old cliche that it's always about the logo on the front and not on the name on the back. And I think we all were kind of ingrained on that. We had our humble core covenant that Darcy made up and that was in our dressing room. And we walked by that every day and we all took pride in the crest we wore and, and we came to the rink every day and we knew that it was truly a great day to be a Bronco no matter what. And we spent a ton of time together and, and we had a, a special bond. Unfortunately, I don't remember anything from that whole day. People have told me like little bits and pieces that I kind of can put together, but for the most part, I don't remember anything. It was just a unique situation. Like we we're 19 to 21 year old kids and just experienced something that nobody should ever experience. So I don't think any of us knew really how to cope with it. I hid my emotions for a bit and I think some of the guys did as well. Being able to be distracted and keep busy was was good for the time being, but once it caught up to you, it, it caught up to your heart. Growing up, I was definitely a, a guy who didn't really want to show weakness and kind of be there for everybody else. Coming to the realization that it's about me and it can be about me and that's okay. When I came to that realization, it was, it was good because then I was able to do what I needed to do and kind of take those necessary steps in order to actually heal. What I've come to realize is the mental health and the mind, it takes time. If you're able to take care of yourself and, and to put your mental health first, then you can at least move forward. It's hard and it's a grind every day. The support around Canada and the way everybody rallied and it sticks out by the door and, and everything, I think it just proved to us that people really do care whether they know you or not. I still have people from Newfoundland messaging me and and making sure I'm okay, and that just shows how important hockey is to every single community in Canada. The hockey community especially is a, is a small community. We all know each other and we all kind of care about each other. Now, obviously, I'm never gonna be able to replace that dressing room atmosphere and the, those people in that dressing room on that team, but coming back and, and being able to kind of get away from everything else and just come out on the ice and and just try to have fun again. Even my mom said she saw me smile again and she saw me having fun on the ice again and, and that's huge. My overall message would just be to realize that you're not okay and if you're not okay, do something about it. I think a lot of people just suffer in silence so being able to open up is, it takes a lot of courage. I just need to, to take the necessary steps and writing is therapeutic, speaking about it is therapeutic and being able to write about my story or my journey and being able to share that and it's therapeutic in itself. Now I'm, I'm hopefully being able to touch people and give them a sense of hope and I think people need that.